Hello everyone, this is Argon Matrix, welcoming you back to the third installment of Kirby's Epic Yarn. So last time we did one level in Grassland, which was fun, and we also unlocked this little place, Zeke's House. So we're just going to go ahead and invade that right now, just randomly. Because that's what you do in games, isn't it? Alright, let's talk to him now. So he wants to play a game of hide and seek in the Fountain Gardens. Uh, okay. And you can see that's only rated one star, so that can't be too hard. Find everyone in three minutes. Let's do it. Okay, so basically him and his brothers here, or they're going to appear once the loading screen goes up. There it is. His four brothers and sisters, maybe, I don't even know, are going to just go hide about in the level, and you have to go and hunt them out. There's one right there, behind the bush. Yeah. And they don't, like, give you the whole level here all the time, they just... Usually, it'd be like a portion of the level you have to look through for them through. And this first one shouldn't be too hard, but as you get later in the game, they will get quite a bit harder, I have to say. Alright, there's another guy right down there. See, how's this hide and seek? They're just like hiding in plain freaking sight, man. Oh, you guys gotta get better at this thing. I mean, really? Come on. How about down here? Oh, yep, there's one right there. What? Wouldn't you know it? Yeah. And a lot of times they just like hide behind the background or the foreground or whatever. Some of their hiding spaces can get pretty clever though. And you, that will become evident later. As many things will. Oh look, one right in the fountain. Jeez. I suppose you could miss that one if you're not paying really close attention. Alright. Just one more guy here. We still have like more than half of our time left, so... Yeah. It's just that simple. Right, and I think he's in the tree. Yeah, he's right there. We found all your friends! Yay! Do a victory lap. Oh, it cut me off during my victory lap. No fun. Uh, come back and see me. Uh, that's Dom Wool. He wants to his brothers? He has brothers? Okay. So, for finding all of his friends, we unlock new wallpaper. Great. Or fabric, I guess. Technically, it's wallpaper, because you put it on the walls in this game. Ah. Small favor, eh? Oh my goodness. I would like to add a floor to the building. Oh, you A small favor to add a floor to a building? That's a bit much, wouldn't you think? Okay. So, he needs like 10,000 beads or something? Yeah, so this is where you get into having to spend lots and lots of beads. Like, you don't have to because it's not a requirement to finish the game to, like, make this building. If you give me 10,000, uh, hand over 10,000 beads? I don't have 10,000 beads to hand over, so. Yeah, so that's a small favor to help him build the freaking building. Or, or pay to build the building, rather. Because apparently his rent money just ain't good enough. Alright, oh yeah, we have this alarm clock patch we never used. Well, let's use it. I mean, hell. We have to use it eventually. And this one. Rise and shine, sleepy bear. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, and he just goes back to sleep. Of course. Even alone, he's hibernating. It's still freaking winter. I mean, come on. Rainbow Falls. This one. This one's kind of fun, I think. If I remember which level it is. Uh, oh no, this is. Th I'm thinking of a different one. This isn't the one I'm thinking of, but I'm sure it's still fun. Alright, ah, uh, four minutes already. Get a move on here. Yeah. Oh, I love this. The wa I love how the water is just like blue yarn. It's pretty awesome. Well, because everything in this game is yarn. Duh. Alright. Give me a spear wall, D. Or just do that. That's fine, too. I'm A-OK -okay with that. Alright, no! Crap. Oh, there's gotta be. There's still a way to get it up there, I'm sure. Aw, oh, damn it. I did not want that to happen. That was not in my plan. Because now I can't get up to that treasure. Maybe I can. Ah, oh, shoot. Well, I'll just come back for that one, I suppose. And I won't be as stupid next time. I don't know. Maybe it'll respawn if I go back later. Oh, I didn't get that thing up there either. I'm just being reckless now. Can't get reckless, it's only the th third freaking stage. Oh, you guys, thank you to- Wow. 
thank you to whoever pointed it out, but those patches that you pick up, they're actually like part of the wheel thing that you latch onto at the end of every level. So, to get the bonus beads at the end, that you have to collect- Oh, I just got chomped. You have to collect all those things. So, thanks to whoever that was, um, I'm not sure who you were, but you know who you are, so thank you. Alright, sweet. Come on, Wall D. Oh, I won't smash two Wall Ds into each other, that would be hilarious. Hey, okay, ooh, beads. Don't let the beads flow away now. That would not be optimum. Optimum Prime. Alright. Uh, oh, don't... Don't jump on my head like Mario. You silly person. Alright, ooh, there's a star up there. I want it. Yeah, it's okay for me to jump on your heads, but not for you to jump on my head. That's a no-no. Alright. Yeah, and these, like, weird little angry face flaps, you can't get rid of them, to my knowledge. And, uh, they just pretty much infinitely spawn enemies. Every game's gotta have one of those, doesn't it? Enemy freaking generators. Right up here, you gotta watch out for these alligators or crocodiles. You never can tell, really. Actually, I know there is a way to tell, and I used to know what the difference between alligators and crocodiles was, but now I can't seem to remember. An outdoor bath to put inside your house. Yeah. Oh, I know that one of you, uh, Oh yeah, it was Scope. He said that he had a fountain inside of his house. It, well, I had a lisp there for a second. Inside of his house. Well, do you have an outdoor bath inside of your house? Yeah. Anyone? Okay, ooh, we're gonna be a surfing penguin now. That's cool. Let's do this. Uh, I think, basically, you can just, like... Okay, I need to look at the controls for this thing really quick. Oh yeah, the one is the spin attack, and then, then there's jump, obviously. Yeah, so you can basically, like, spin off enemies and get a little bit of a boost if you want. Okay, yeah, we're gonna go slow right here so we can have a good long time to look at that freaking control thing. And I think that we might have to, like, do some little nifty tricks to actually pick up the music file for this one. Because in certain levels, it's, been, it's gonna be pretty much required that you do tricks like hopping off enemies like that in order and do, like, combos, maybe, even, to get certain items. Like that patch. Of course, we didn't have to do it there. Ooh, star. Nice. How lovely. So, so you might want to get good at that. Or not. It's up to you. Ooh, rainbow. I love the rainbow patterns like that. Look at that awesome comboage. Yeah, they make you do that so much in one of the later levels that, like, I'm just so good at it now. Yep. See, there's the music. And with that, the level is at an end. But of course, I'm gonna have to come back and get the last treasure there, or the first treasure, actually. And I think you have to actually have to beat the level in order for the treasure to take. So, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do that off screen. I'll prob I might just cut into like show me actually picking up the treasure to show what it is, but I won't show the rest of the level because you don't need to see that. We just showed it, and we have ten over ten thousand beads now, and we found the bean patch. Cool. Well, I would like to introduce you to my brothers. Come back and see me. Didn't you already say it? You have enough beads? Yes, I do. Oh, and a new hide-and-seek stage. Damn, that's a lot of stuff that just got, got unlocked. And we're gonna go back to this level. Er, okay, we'll throw the patch first, fine. Grow a magic beanstalk. Climb all the way to the top to get to the giant's castle and retrieve the golden goose egg. No, actually, it goes to Big Bean Vine. Okay. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut this out as I'm going to go and get the treasure. Hold on, a winky doodle. Okay, come on. No, get up there. Oh my god. That was scary. That was very close. But here's the treasure a rainbow arch. Cool. Alright, I'm gonna cut the rest of this out now and see you in a minute. Okay, fantastic. I am now done with that level, and I guess we'll head back and check out the new hide-and-seek challenge, as well as meet the guy's brothers and expand the building. Got a lot of crap to do back here. In the patch... No, Quilty Square, that's it. Alright. So, uh, yeah. Do it! Do it now! And, 
all of a sudden he's just gonna add a floor to the building just like that great yay so happy all right two more apartments and so if you furnish those apartments like we did for Zeke's apartment you can actually get more neighbors and I didn't mean to go into my house all right uh, yeah, and as you get more neighbors, you can do more and more different kinds of mini games, and it's going to be pretty awesome. But give give me your opinion, guys. I just need to know: Do you want me to like do these mini games, like hide and seek and stuff, as they become available, or do you want me to set aside like one video to do just a bunch of them, just like plump them together? For now, I'm just going to do them as they come, since it seems like it'll be more there'll be more variety. Because it'll be like one level and then some mini games or something like that. So that's what I'm gonna do for now. But just let me know what you guys think. Oh, and thanks for your input on like the time thing. Uh, I'm still, as I said, I'm still gonna leave these Kirby's Epic Yarn videos for 15 minutes. But the rest I might cut down. We'll see. We'll just see how things go. All right. And again, this isn't very hard. I believe it's just another one star rating thing uh, but I have to go back up there crap gotta work my pa way past the alligators and stuff whatever oh I missed because he opened his big mouth oh but I hit the other guy okay I guess I can handle that All right you're mine now yo mine sucker um pretty sure there's not one in that bottomless pit that has actually Looks like it has a bottom because it's the water's crashing into the bottom. All right, nothing up there. Yeah, they actually get pretty creative with these hiding spots later on. Like, what the hell was that one? You were just like floating in the middle of the sky. I saw you were like about to duck inside of a cloud, but still. All right. Um, looks like you missed one back towards the beginning. Okay. No big deal. I still have minute forty-five. My, my, 145. Alright. Ow. Stupid. Get your spear out of my face. Wait, what? Where's the last one? He's not here? What is this madness? I can't be getting stuck on, like, the second hide-and-seek hide mission thing. Oh my goodness, I am. Aren't I? What craziness is this now? I'm sure you guys can see perfectly well where he is. And I'm just missing something incredibly obvious. Wait, is that him? No. I thought I saw... Oh, wait, there he is. What the hell? How did I miss that? He was just, like, skimming along the bottom. Whatever. Alright. That's about 13 minutes right now. Cool. And I think we can fit the Big Bean Vine level into this video. Might go a bit over 16 minutes or so, but I don't care. Ooh, polka dots. Cool. The rainbow dot fabric. Lovely. A lovely furnish to any apartment. But I'll probably never use it. Because I've never, even like, after almost beating this game, I've never used one of those fabrics that they give you. Alright. Hmm. Still haven't met Dom Wool's brothers. I don't know what he's talking about there. Oh well. Right, done with Rainbow Falls, up to Big Bean Vine. Let's do it. Rock on. Okay. Now, uh, oh, was this level I think I was thinking of where you have to like climb all the way to the top? All oh, that now there's waldies with bows and arrows. That's stupid. Yeah, this is the one where you have to climb all the way to the top of the level in order to beat it. So that's cool. Nice to have a more vertical design. Instead of just plain left to right, it's up, it's bottom to top. Ah! Okay. Oh, I can grab the arrows out of the air. I forgot about that. That's cool. There's the first patch. Neato. And there's some more beads over here. That's about it. Ah, nice. A little bit of a lax level. Well, not like any of the other levels have been extremely intense so far. Far from it. Ah, <laughs> just own that wall D. 
Yeah, some of these wild bees you don't want to kill though. Like these ones floating in the air with umbrellas, generally you won't want to kill them because you'll use them as platforms like this. Like a crazy person. And we get a lattice for inside our house. <sighs> Never really noticed that, like in my first playthrough, that some of these items are so ridiculous to have inside of your house. Let alone, like. Well, they're even ridiculous. Some of them are even ridiculous to have outside of your house. It's crazy. Right, there's some weird parrot thing. Let's just get rid of that. Can't have any of that nonsense now. Most certainly cannot. And if you stand on those balloons for too long, they'll deflate and. Yeah, they'll get sad. Pretty much. Did I miss a treasure? I feel like I did. Oh, well, if, if I did, I'll just have to go back for it. No biggie. No biggie at all. I missed my ride. I'll just have to hitch a ride on you instead. Yeah, I generally just like to hop on these guys to get as much height of them as possible. And even if they go too high, too, then the balloons will also pop. Okay, no. I'm gonna get you. Bam! In your face! Uh, oh, 16 minutes already. Well, if this is a longer episode, who cares? Who really cares? I'm sure you guys might even like that, because we haven't had one of these Kirby's Epic Yarn parts in a few days now. Yeah. Ew. That guy's gross. Let's start throwing stuff at him. Oh, he's angry now. And now he's dead. Wow, that was the hardest boss fight of this game so far. Crazy. Alright, get some of these hidden beads that aren't very hidden. And can I get up there? Thank you. We are almost at the top. I think. I hope. Why'd I kill that guy? He was going to have balloons ready for me and everything. Can I hop up here? Yeah, I can. Sweet. Sweet. Oh, how high can I go? How high can you possibly hop without the freaking help of the balloons? Apparently very high. No! I forgot those things, like, did that. They, like, tilted. Oh, well. Alright, almost there. And, oh, a patch. And I didn't miss the treasure. That's good. It is a cloud pillow. Alright. That's slightly more normal, I guess. Alright, float on over. Yeah, that parachute thing there, that's like the most useful transformation you have in this game, because it just like helps you clear those jumps that might be too long otherwise. Oh, damn it. Don't want to fall. <laughs> Waddle D fell through the platform. It's ridiculous. Okay, hop onto this guy. And just slowly work your way up. Almost there. Sweet. And looks like that's the end of the level. Great. So I'll probably end off this episode now. Alright, once we get the final tally, that is. Can't skip that. Ooh, bonus beads. Lovely. Yeah, so apparently there's like three patches in every level that make up this bonus wheel here. Quite useful. Alright, and we got gold, as always. I mean, duh. Okay. And I guess that's going to be it for this episode. Next time, we'll use the watering can patch. And we'll, uh doing that new hide-and-seek stage, I guess. Alright, so, thank you everyone for watching, and until next time, this is Argon Matrix, signing out. Thank you, and good night.